Well, welcome back to the channel everybody and uh, here I am in uh, Pulse and Customs Go say bye bye to everybody and uh, totally chin me right off Well, welcome back to the channel everyone You can see I'm at uh, Pulse and Customs in Malden Just grabbed myself a lovely cup of tea and uh, they've got some nice stuff in there they've got some nice baseball caps, some nice jackets it's all way to go uh, stuff's pretty expensive though but I suppose you've got to make some money however, it's time for me now to uh, go home go and ex use uh, blah 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 spit that out but uh, however, it's uh, time for me now to uh, make move go home I've got a couple of things I want to talk about as you can see on my tank there that I've written down yeah I want to talk about I've gone on about this before but you know about the price of new bikes how horrendous they are aren't they for like the litre plus bikes if you're into your Enfields and stuff not so bad and some of the other smaller capacity bikes but uh, oh my god litre bikes are just absolutely horrific oh this is going to be fun isn't it getting out of here I might have just taxied myself here I might need to am I going to be able to get out? Yeah, I'll be able to get out. So, um, <clears throat> I do like watching a bit of 44 Teeth. And uh, their latest one, they, they had the BMW S1000 and the KTM they were taking out. Which uh, looked pretty good, but that bike, standard alone, was £19,500. Now, that's, more, that's worth more than... Both my, I'm going to, I'm going to the centre. Both of my, um, what do you call it? Cheers, thank you. Both of my bikes and my car involved. Uh, combined, I mean, involved, combined. That's absolutely mental. I mean, I've got a fairly decent car. I've got two nice bikes, but yeah. And that was just a standard one. So if you wanted the M, the M worked out uh, an extra five thousand. Oh, it's just so, and that, that's more than this is worth. Mental, isn't it? You can buy two and a half of these for five grand. They're yeah, absolutely bonkers. Um, yeah, where's it all going? I don't know. Who, who can afford these bikes? I know that, you know, everybody gets them on finance and pips and all the rest of it. And you don't actually own anything, do you? You, you? you effectively just rented it. You don't own it. It's not your bike if you do, do you know, finance it or whatever. It's just absolutely bonkers. Oh, I just can't wrap my head around it. It's, uh, yeah, crazy. Here, check him out. Very nice. So, uh, <clears throat> what else was there? There was that. Oh, yeah, I've been... had a bit of a scam. PayPal. So, I may or may not have bought another motorcycle, but that's for another video. And so I've been going on the compare sites uh, to get... Uh, what do you call it? Oh, fucking hell, what's the word? Uh, well, get comparisons, just, yeah, to get values. So I can't even think. Yeah, to get prices on the insurance. Anyway, for this bike, Jesus, I'll go out. I tell you, I'm losing my mind. Anyway, so uh, yeah, I, I, I was doing that, and then effectively, I, I then got. I had a dodgy email. I've had two dodgy emails. It went straight into my spam. Well, one went straight into my spam folder. No, actually, tell a lie. They didn't go into my spam folder. I put them into my spam folder proper dodgy so there was those and then i had a third one come through to do with paypal and it had uh i opened it up i mean it was on my phone so you know i mean i ain't gonna get a virus on my phone i opened this bleeding thing up and it had an attachment uh which looked like a legit uh paypal uh statement uh saying for 650 pounds and it had a telephone number for paypal and i was like right okay I'm going to phone up this number. It was an 020 number, which I think is London. So uh, I phoned it up and uh, straight away, red flag, Indian guy, Asian accent on the phone. He sounded like he was in his living room. I was just like, oh, hello. I goes, uh, I've got this uh, statement here for 650 quid. And he was like, oh, yes, blah, 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 blah. I ain't going to do the voice. And uh, I was like, right, I goes, what's he for? Uh, Bitcoin. I was like, I don't do Bitcoin. I mean, are you spamming me? 
and uh, he started to get a bit defensive then. I goes, you're spam, isn't you? I goes, you're, you're, you're sending me spam. Anyway, put the phone down on me, didn't he? So I got straight on the PayPal, because I'd already just, it's funny, because I'd just been looking at my PayPal account and I had nothing taken out. So I got straight onto PayPal, onto their fraud unit, and uh, yeah, I sent them all the details. So hopefully that will get rectified. So yeah, absolutely bonkers. Be care, be careful. I think this is the second time this has happened to me. Going on the comparison sites, and then I've had issues with like dodgy stuff coming in on my email. Absolutely bonkers. What was the other thing as well? Yeah, um, I was in Berry and Edmonds the other day, and I thought I'd pop into the Honda garage there. I always find them a bit, sh a bit strange sometimes in there. Some of the, uh, the guys that work there, and uh, says me, and. Uh, Yes, there was nothing in there that was looked any good. They had some adventure bikes, some massive scooters, but the, the bikes were just bland. There was no no litre bikes, no no CBR, you know, fire blades or whatever, anything like that. They had the 650, which just looked, again, it's just a woke, boring, homogenised, look at the sides of that pothole in the, on the roundabout just look crap so uh yeah i'd look around that uh and the only good thing to come out that was um they had the 90 degree valves that you can stick on your bike so i might i might pick up some of those especially for when i pick up my new bike so uh yes yeah weren't too impressed honda i don't know what's going on with honda it just looked crap every the big four in it the japanese just they just look crap didn't they I mean, when I was in Colchester, Kawasaki, they had the Enfields, uh, what else, they're Kawasaki, I'd look around some of them, they weren't too bad, especially like the big Z900 or whatever, but it just all looked, um, yeah, they looked a bit better, but yeah, I don't know, I don't know where I'm going with that, anyway, alright, got a nod, uh, I hope you're all okay, I hope you're having a, a wonderful weekend, I've gone out because uh, it's, not, it's like Saturday and it's supposed to be warm, which it is. They've said that there ain't going to be any rain. However, it's uh, pretty cloudy. Like it was the first time some like storm, some wind coming in. So God knows what's going on with the weather. You can count. I can count on my hand the amount of days, dry days that we've had in the UK. It, it's absolutely mental, and I've heard. Well, I've, I've read that the, the farmers are a bit, uh, a bit worried because I don't know why I'm talking about farmers. Are worried about growing veg this month. They reckon there's going to be a shortage because this stuff's just rotting in the ground because it's that waterlogged. Bonkers. Anyway, yes, I think that's it. I think that's everything. I think that's everything I've covered. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to get the Royal Enfield back on the road soon. It's, uh, I, I did some Blue Peter, Johnny Age 5, fault finding with the bike. Um, I don't think it is the petrol cap that's uh, blocked. It's definitely not the, the valve on the top of the, well, I don't think it is the, the hole in the top of the petrol tank that, you know, lets, lets gases out. I, I put a wire in that and I couldn't find any blockage in there. So I think it's one of the pipes. So uh, it must be a pipe underneath or something. So it's trapped. So that's going to go back into the garage and get rectified. And then hopefully we're back in. We're back on. You know what I mean? So uh, yes, hopefully you should be seeing some Royal Enfield content coming back soon. And uh, I want to test ride a few of the bikes as well. Get out on the, especially the Super Meteor. Last time I rode that, I was well impressed. Here, look at that Marlborough. That's the one for the Woke Brigade, isn't it? You can't even put Marlborough. Lego have bought out a, a Lego uh, McLaren racing car and they haven't put Marlborough on it because, you know, Marlborough cigarettes. Oh, it's absolutely ridiculous, isn't it? So, yes, anyway, I'm starting to ramble. So, if you like the videos, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, smash that red subscribe button. And if you are a subscriber, hit the notification bell. That way, every time that this idiot uploads a video, you will get notified. And that, my friends, is Jim Diesel, out. Time to say bye-bye to these boys. Ta. Cheers.